Hello, welcome, peace and love to all, men, women, and otherwise. We have for you a vidya, scores on dead oars. You know what it is. If you don't, eh, who cares? Let's just watch a video anyway. So we're kicking things off with Forza. Oh, Forza. Oh, it hurts my soul. I was so big on Forza coming into this event. I was telling everyone they're going to fucking make the legend stage. They're so good. And they start off proving me right. You know, comfortably beat Ben Renegades. Com Benegades? <laughs> comfortably beat Bad News Eagles. They take a map off Vitality and like, you know... This dust too. Okay, yeah, they kind of sucked on the T side. But then this Mirage is pretty competitive. And you're like, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Forza will make it through. Oh, shit. They got to play outsiders. Well, okay. You know, they win a map. That, they win the opponent's map pick. And they're sort of, you know, not absolutely blown out on the other two. And you're like, fuck. Well, okay. They'll win this last one. They'll do it. Of course they will. F fuck. They get bodied. And it looked like boys versus men quite frankly uh yeah they got they got sunned by imperial imperial like they're there my son sit the fuck down you're not ready yet yeah no major criticisms of forza really um i think like if we look at oh sorry punching my microphone if we look at this team list right there isn't anybody like a, you probably put like astralis at least ahead of Forza to be making it into the next stage. So I, I don't know. I don't think you can be too harsh on Forza. At the end of the day, I think the inexperience showed in that Imperial game. They looked scared. They looked like rabbits in the headlights. They just were not mentally there for that game. And, you know, it showed. My boy Jerry, the second coming of Jesus Christ, will... Figure this out. He will take this Forza team to new heights for the rest of this year. I'm excited to see them. I'm going to give them a C plus, which is probably biased, but in line with expectations to be competitive to make the next stage, even if you don't make it. And they looked so good for like portions of this. Like they showed they could hang with tier one teams. With more experience, that young roster will do damage uh, against tier one teams. Hopefully, they get the chance throughout the rest of the year to play some some better squads. Um, are they at... Uh, let's just have a quick look. Are they at Dallas? No, they're not at Dallas. But they do have Land Sweet Land coming up later in the year, which which should be cool. So, yeah, C-plus for Forza. Um, in my heart, you'll always get an S, Jerry. Oh, Astralis. I mean, it can't be a good grade, can it? Because I think if you're Astralis, you... It seemed like they were ramping up at the right time. It seemed like they were getting better. Obviously, since adding Farley for Lucky, they have looked better in general, but they've just kind of grown with each event. And it was, you know, fine. Uh, probably a bit disappointing. Would like to be more competitive in that one. Beat MIBR, so they're two to one. It's all going okay. Then they get rolled over by the surprise package at the event, which was Spirit. At the time, that looks disappointing, but in retrospect, you just got to shrug your shoulders and say, okay, Spirit, we're on a fucking heat at this event. And then this here, yeah, this was, was the problem. That map could have gone either way. And honestly, the only reason it doesn't go to overtime is despite Blame F absolutely fucking smurfing and carrying his team to even keep the game close, he then horrifically misplays a post plant in a 2v1 at the end of the game. And then this Ancient was, again, but th this was the problem. Uh, honestly, the big problems were Farley and Zip just fucking disappeared on the second part of this CT half. They could barely hold their guns in their hands, let alone a bomb site. It was a D fucking disaster. Farley couldn't hit shit with the AWP or a rifle. Zip was just fucking doing zip things. I'll be honest, I think the guy's washed and has to go eventually. Even Blame F was doing dumb shit, like running through cave and jumping around like a moron, even though there was no reason to expect lane to be clear. Yeah, I don't know. Astralis completely choked away that liquid game. I'm going to give Astralis a D because it it they should have been expecting to make legends, I think. And 
they're not getting a complete fair of a grade because they were looking all right to do so. It was really only the back end of that liquid game on Ancient where they really like fell apart. So they get a D. Wasn't great. Kind of disappointing. That's all I got. M-I-B-R. MIBR were a weird one, man. They were so fucking competitive, right? So close to Outsiders, even close to 9Z, close to Astralis. They basically ran every game pretty fucking close. And even this Eternal Fire, like, the nuke was a little bit more convincing, but the Vertigo was tight as well. Every single game MIBR played in, they seemed to just run, like, really close with their opponents. Um... I think in the end, the momentum kind of was like really with Bad News Eagles and Regon was very important, obviously, in kind of pushing this series beyond MIBR. Um, I think MIBR, they've obviously removed Woody. Um, yes, they seem to be on an upswing. I agree. A lot of people were saying it was weird to remove Woody when you're on an upswing. They also did look like Woody was a fucking liability in the fragging department pretty much all the fucking time, man. That guy... Uh, and Andy was an orper. Like, I'm sorry. If he wasn't the orper on the team, I'd I'd have a lot more sympathy for him getting cut. Not if he's the orper, man. He can't have the stats he has as an orper. Just not good enough. No impact with that gun whatsoever. And it's the most expensive gun in the game. Um, that's, uh, Fucking random aside there. Um, Not random, because we are talking about MIBR. They can have a C from me. Honestly, I think this was in line with expectations. They were competitive, looked pretty promising. Maybe a smidge early in their development or... Yeah, con especially considering, like I say, having such a low impact orper in the form of Woody. I think maybe they've promoted... I'm not going to try and say his name, but the guy who played with them at Blast, they promoted to the main lineup and he looked really fucking good at Blast. BR4Z4N or whatever his name is. So I expect MIBR to actually even look a little smidge better second part of the year. I'd like to see more of them. They look competitive. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'd just like to see more of MIBR in future. They get a C for this major. It was in line with expectations, in my opinion, and they played pretty decently. Complexity. Um, yeah, just, just poo, aren't they? They're just poo. They're just not good at all. The only team they beat was this IHC team, and they squeaked it over the line. Um, and I would say IHC, honestly, like on, if you are watching all of IHC's games and then watching Complexity's games, IHC looked like a better fucking team, to be quite honest. I didn't expect them to get C minus. They looked crap. Their T sides, especially, are fucking terrible. Complexity, they're just so one dimensional, lacking in any creativity, explosiveness, any interesting ideas. But, I was expecting them to go nowhere. They went nowhere, but they arguably looked slightly worse than I expected they would. I thought Complexity were just like inching, like just, just ever so slightly getting better each time I saw them. And I was like, once they eventually get to the point where they kick Junior and bring somebody else in, then maybe this Complexity team can actually like work. But yeah, this was this seemed a regression to me, this major performance. They get a C minus. Eternal Fire, I didn't expect them to do anything. Um, this was disappointing. This was probably disappointing. C minus. They were ever so slightly disappointing, but I didn't expect them to get to the next stage in the major. Honestly, not too much to write home about with Eternal Fire. Um, yeah, a C minus only because the expectations weren't that high. Um, they did well, I think, to get to the major. Um, but not like a huge overperformance to get this far. So yeah, C minus. The expectations weren't that high, I don't think. They performed about in line with it. Maybe a little disappointing that they weren't a bit more competitive in some of the games. IHC um did well to even get to the major. Obviously got to the major ahead of Tai Lu. Um clearly better than Renegades, and Renegades have dominated the Oceanic region for years now. And they were even like relatively competitive in this Imperial series. So honestly, oops, wrong button. 
I actually are going to get a C plus from me. Um, I really want to give them a B minus because uh, like they shocked me with how good they looked in their games. Uh, the structure that they played with, the understanding of Counter-Strike they displayed, the raw skill on offer, honestly. Um, score looked like a fucking banger. Yeah, I'm going to give them a B minus. Fuck it. I'm going to do it. I want to give them a B minus. I know normally I say... C is in line with expectations, and I see, you know, they didn't make the legend stage, which is about in line with expectations, but just with how fucking well they played and looked at points, I'm gonna give them a B minus. I think they exceeded expectations with how competitive they were and how well they just played Counter Strike. Just just how well they played the game was fucking tippy toppers. 9Z C minus. I don't have much to say about them. I didn't really watch much of them play. So this is probably the team I, out of the whole fucking major, saw the least of. Um, Just because none of it, like, this didn't excite me. This is going to be a banger, uh, like a banging out by an NC. They're always going to bang out 9Z. This didn't excite me massively. I actually thought MIBR would win that more comfortably than they did. And then this didn't excite me because I thought Liquid would, would you know, 2-0 them. And it was about what I suspected. Um, yeah, just looked at a cut below everyone else, really. 9Z. From what I did see, I saw a bit of the, the Liquid series. Um, and yeah, I think this is about like C minus just because they fucking didn't win a game. So if you don't win a map, I ain't giving you a C. C minus. Uh, and Renegades get a D from me because, uh, look, at this point, they have to be more competitive than this when they go to international events, man. They have to be more competitive than this. I understand. I've seen uh, communication come out of Renegade since the tournament saying they barely got to go home. Basically, their schedule in the lead up to this was a bit manic. I understand that. Um, you know, lots of traveling and, and, you know, not getting the best quality practice and stuff. Okay. That it definitely does um lend some excuse or at least an explanation. Some people don't believe in excuses. But you're just fucking not even close, man. Like convincing, absolutely spanked, convincingly beat by IHC, like I don't know, man. There's only that there's only so many excuses that we can take and every single time renegades have come internationally now they've pretty much completely flopped i can remember one win against og in a qualifier for something in a play-in or whatever like that's the only notable international result i can remember and i'm pretty sure that was best of one maybe i'm wrong correct me if i am c minus no, D, like I say, D, D, it has to be a D. This is just, this is just shit, man. Look at this. They're getting fucking banged out. Like, they're getting, oh, no, stop it. Yeah, they're just getting squished. D, it's dick is what it is. D for dick. It's fucking doo-doo. Just dire. All other words beginning with D. And there we fucking have it, boys and girls. I've finally done all of my uh, videos, scores on the doors uh, for the major challenger stage, legends and playoffs, all as separate videos. Go check them the fuck out because this should be the one that comes out last. So they should all be out by now. You know the drill. Give me a like. Give me a comment. Tell me you love me. Tell me what you want to see. I'll, I'll do content that you suggest. So if you want to see me do something, fucking tell me. Uh, and if you did not like it, uh, just piss off. I ain't got anything more for you. Just get out of here.